let us start step 4 so in step 4 we will determine the flow required or the minimum amount of water required from each sprinkler so there is a formula to calculate the flow from each sprinkler q equaled area into density we already know the area based on s by l rule which is about 126 square feet and density is nothing but the amount of water that falls into each square foot in one minute which is uh, you know and the units will be gallons per minute per square feet so if we know area and density then we can determine the total amount of water that must come from one sprinkler during a fire event so area we are considering 126 square feet but in actual uh, you know the area beneath this particular sprinkler will be less than this we shall calculate for our reference let us have a look now so i will draw here this is the sprinkler which we are considering this is other sprinkler here we have one more sprinkler here we have this sprinkler so we consider these four just for our understanding purpose so here since the distance between these two sprinklers is 14 feet i will mention 14 feet 14 feet so just we are going to concentrate on this particular sprinkler so the coverage area of this particular sprinkler is from the wall the distance is 5 feet from here the distance is 4 feet so now the area covered by this sprinkler in actual scenario it will be half of this and half of this branch line so this is 9 feet so 9 by 2 we are going to get about 4 feet 6 inches so this will be i will just uh, change the color so that you will easily understand so now we are going to consider this blue color so this distance will be 4 feet 6 inches and this distance already we have 4 feet so total this length will be about 8 feet 6 inches in actual scenario and since we are considering half of this particular uh, distance so it will be 7 feet and this we already have from the wall the distance between the sprinkler to the wall is 5 feet so this will be about 12 feet so here s will be 12 feet l will be 8 feet 8 feet 6 inches in actual scenario this will be the coverage area for this particular sprinkler if you calculate 12 feet by or 12 feet multiply by 8 feet 6 inch then we will get around 102 square feet but we are not going to consider this particular coverage area since we need to consider s by l rule which was already discussed in our earlier slides so based on s by l rule the area coverage shall be 126 square feet so we will consider 126 square feet for calculation purpose so q will be area into density now we can just mention 126 square feet multiply by density we already know for ordinary hazard group 1 0 0.15 gpm per square feet okay so we are going to get about 18.9 gpm so this will be the flow from any sprinkler to meet nfpa 13 requirements so sprinkler flow will be minimum 18.9 gpm